Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to be dealing with something called similar right triangles. And of course, uh, we have a big triangle here. Then we have a smaller triangle within the big triangle. And the question is, we want to find the value of x, i.e. this little value right there. So I don't want to give you too many hints because I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem all on your own. Uh, so if you can uh, figure this out, go ahead and put your answers into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to walk through this step by step and teach you a little bit of something about similar right triangles. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, uh, we're talking about similar right triangles. I'll explain all these concepts in a second, but here is the information. This length is nine. This little uh, side here that we're looking for is x. This right here, this distance is four, and this distance is six. Again, we are dealing with right triangles. So what is this value? What is that length x? Well, let's go ahead and see the answer right now. x is equal to eight. So that is the answer. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got that right, well, that is fantastic. Let's go and give you a nice little happy face at A plus, a 100%, and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about similar right triangles. They'll be very impressed to know that information indeed. Okay, so again, uh, we're talking about similar right triangles, so it's probably a good idea to understand uh, the basic concept of similarity. Right, so similar right triangles, but what does it mean uh, to uh, have similar anything or similar figures in geometry? Let me explain this real quick, and uh, let me just kind of erase this little happy face. Uh, so here's the deal, right? So let's say I have a triangle, and here I'm gonna. Oh, that's a terrible triangle. I could do a little bit better than that. Uh, let's see here. How about this? Okay. All right, a little bit better. So here is a triangle. Now watch this, I'm gonna do something that's gonna be very interesting. Notice I'm making a copy of it, and now I'm gonna make it, uh, whoops, I didn't wanna do that. Let me do this again, bear with me, you'll understand this, we're talking about the concept of similarity. Okay, so I'm making a copy of it, but this copy, I'm making it bigger, okay? So basically, this, uh, these shapes okay, are exactly the same except for their size, right? Basically, I zoomed out, or you could think of this uh, big old triangle here being zoomed in, okay? But what is uh, the same about these uh, figures here? Well, this angle here is the same as this angle, okay? So let's just kind of understand. This angle did not change these angles here. This angle and this angle are the same, and this angle and this angle are the same. Okay, so the, uh, that's one aspect of similar figures that you're just changing the size, you're not changing the angles, and uh, most importantly, you're not changing the proportion of these sides as well. So this side uh, compared to this side is the same or is in proportion to this side and this side. This is really, really important uh, geometry stuff. And the way you um, write similarity, let's say you had triangle a, B, C, and you have this another triangle over here. Let's call this D, E, F. The way I would express this triangle and this triangle are similar triangles. I would use this little squiggly thing right there. Okay, so some of you might like, is that the approximation symbol uh, in uh, mathematics? Well, approximation is two, uh, or, or sometimes you can have one, like approximately, but uh, right there, that little squiggly means similarity, right? So if this was triangle A, B, uh, C, and this is D, E, F, I would be stating uh, that these two triangles are similar. So anyways, you need to understand the concept of similarity. Now, this is different than the concept of congruency. Okay, now congruency means uh, you have the exact same uh, shape and size, an exact copy, of, and that's uh, for a different video. But uh, anyways, now that I kind of explain what similarity means, we can kind of take a look at this problem and say, okay, we're, we're dealing with similar right triangles. What are we talking about here? Well, we have this big triangle right here, okay? This is just a larger, a zoomed out version, if you will, of this inner triangle right here, 
okay? Or the inner triangle is a zoomed in version of the big triangle, okay? But they are similar, right? So this is kind of goes to um, some of the uh, uh, theorems and properties that you learn in geometry. By the way, if you're looking at this, you're like, yeah, I'm learning this stuff. I freak, you know, there's a lot I don't understand about geometry. I'm gonna just highly suggest you check out my full geometry course. I go through all of this, similarity, congruency, um, translations, dilations, all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty much going to teach you everything you need to know uh, for high school level geometry, which is there is a tremendous amount of information you need to know. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you understand what's going on. So now what you need to understand is I told you that similar figures are proportional. The sides are proportional. So we need to set up a proportion to solve this problem. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, again, remember I said that this little inner triangle, okay, is basically the same thing or a smaller version of the outer triangle. Okay, these two triangles are similar. So let's kind of break up this big figure here into two triangles, two separate triangles that kind of illustrate this situation, right? So here we have X and six, this is the small triangle that's inside of the bigger triangle. So this is the side of that small triangle. And these two triangles are similar. And this is the bigger triangle, X plus four and nine. Let's go back here, over here to make sure you, you kind of see what's going on because this is really important. So the sides of this triangle is X and six. All right, that's the small uh, triangle. You can see it right there. Again, these are right triangles. Now, the bigger triangle, what is the side down here? Okay, well, here, this is X and this is 4. So this entire length here is X plus 4. All right, so that's the base and the height is 9. So here is this um, triangle right here, X plus 4 and 9. Okay, so now we're dealing with two similar triangles. And what we can do is construct a proportion to solve for X. All right, let's go ahead and do that right now. So the easiest way to do this is just to compare any two sides. And the two uh, sides that we need to compare is the sides we have information with. We, we don't have any information with the hypotenuse. Now, we could do that by using the Pythagorean theorem, but that's just like a lot of extra work that we don't need to do. So let's compare this side, this the height to the base. Okay, so the height to the base on this triangle is 6 over x. So let's compare the same thing here, the height to the base of this triangle is 9 over x plus 4. Again, we're, we're comparing the same sides, okay? So this side first, okay? So this side first here over the base, in this case it's x, and x plus 4. All right, so if you understand that, well, then now you're basically what you need to be able to do is to be able to solve this proportion using basic algebra. Now, if you're looking at this, you're like, yo, I'm taking geometry, but I was kind of weak in algebra. Well, you need to know a decent amount of algebra to be successful in geometry, right? So you got to um, have the algebra skills to be able to solve this basic proportion. But let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this right now. All right, so 6 over x is equal to 9 over x plus 4. So what we can do is simply use the cross product, okay? So 6 times x plus 4 is equal to x times 9 or 9x. All right, so if you're like, oh, yeah, I need to review the cross product and understand algebra, well, then you might want to check out my Algebra 1 course as well, all right? So algebra and geometry, that is really, you know, the foundations of high school level mathematics. And if you're in college math, you got to know this stuff. This is so, so important. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the problem. So 6 times x plus 4, all right, that's that expression there, is equal to 9 times x. So the, again, this is the cross product. So let's go ahead and solve for x. So 6 times x, we're going to use the distributive property, 6x, six, 6 times 4 is 24, that's equal to 9x. So uh, let me just go ahead and move the 6x uh, to this side of the equation, or subtract 6x from both sides of the equation. I have 3x is equal to 24. Now I simply just need to divide both sides of the equation by 3, and I get 24 divided by 3, or x is equal to 8, which is the solution. Okay, so x is equal to 8. And 6 over 8, now if I, I got this side right here, um, 8 plus 4 is what? Well, that's 12, right? So these fractions here are 9 over 12 
is equal to 6 over 8. So if you're like, well, is that right? Well, you can uh, certainly use a cross product, but let's just reduce these fractions. 3 goes into 9, what? 3. 3 goes into 12, what? 4. So 3, uh, or 2 goes into 6, what? 3. And 2 goes into 8, 4. Okay, so we're dealing with two equal fractions, which by definition is a proportion. So isn't it very lovely how all these things work out in the end? You're like, oh, okay, that wasn't such a difficult problem. But uh, a problem like this is a very typical type problem that will show up on geometry test quizzes and standardized tests like the SAT, ACT, entrance exams, etc. You definitely need to know a lot about triangles if you're at this level of mathematics. Okay, very, very important that you understand you know, not only similarity, congruence, and all sorts of other things as well. Okay, but if this particular video helped you out, don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.